In today's video, we're going to be talking about how two and a half years ago, I picked up on a couple of clues and suggested that a rich and famous person on the internet was actually stacking silver. No one believed me, but here we are two and a half years later, the truth comes out and I have the proof. And I'm also going to be going live in the VIP club tonight around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description if you'd like to join. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to give one example of proof that rich and famous celebrities are also stacking silver and gold. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. I hope you don't mind the sound of the rain in the background. I'm doing my best, but there's not a whole lot I can do with where I currently am. Today, I wanted to talk about rich and famous celebrities that might also be stacking silver and gold. Now, I want to use the word might very loosely because I actually have proof. And no, I'm not going to be exposing anyone for secretly stacking silver and gold. I'm going to be talking about somebody who has openly admit just the other day that he's been stacking silver and gold for years and years and years on end. Now, what's funny about this, and I normally wouldn't even be talking about this, but it plays a role in my story as well because in November of 2018, I posted a video titled something along the lines of, are rich and famous celebrities secretly stacking silver and gold? Something like that. And in that video, I had this theory that people who make a whole lot of currency, a whole lot of fiat, a whole lot of IOU dollar bills... The rich and famous celebrities, the singers, the entertainers, etc., 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 could potentially be stacking silver and gold. And the reason I came to this conclusion or theory was because I came across a video from a massive YouTube channel that has nothing to do with silver and gold. It has nothing to do with personal finance. It has nothing to do with anything like that. It's a guy who makes videos with monster trucks and BMX bikes and running around the backyard and just doing all types of like weird activities. Nothing to do with silver and gold. Nothing to do with stacking. Nothing to do with prepping. Nothing to do with any of that. And in one of his videos, years and years and years ago, he made a very quick joke while talking to his friend's son that instead of buying a video game, he could put that cash into metals. I'm going to include that clip along with some of my commentary from November of 2018 right here. Keep in mind, this is an old video. Wasn't very good at filming videos back then. Not to say that I'm all that great now, but you can definitely see the difference. Here we go. A couple days ago, I was watching this video of this YouTuber. He has nothing to do with precious metals. He's just one of those vlogger type of guys. And I was watching one of his videos and he had his kids and his friend's kid or his brother's kids or something like that with him in the store and it was one of their birthdays. And he, I think he was like giving them like $20 or something like that. And he was like, hey, listen, you can spend it foolishly if you want or you can take that money and try to make it make you more money. You can invest it. You can do something smart with it. And the kid was like asking questions like, what? And this guy was like, well, you can save up and put it into land. You could put it into precious metals. And I was just like, whoa, wait a second. What do you do with uh, just money burning a hole in your pocket? You know, it's never a bad idea to start investing, oh, Carson. Yeah. You can buy some metals. You can put your money in land. This guy has never mentioned precious metals before, at least not to my knowledge. And He's a very big top dog YouTuber, not for any reason other than because he's a really good entertainer. And it started making me think, this guy, I know he invests in land. He's never mentioned precious metals, but I'm sure he does. It makes sense, and now he mentioned it. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a bunch of silver and gold. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest bit. So that's a video that I posted in November of 2018 during my first full year of stacking. I wasn't even one year deep at that point. I had only been stacking for, what, maybe 10 or 11 months at that point. I was relatively brand new. I'm still relatively brand new. I'm a little over three years deep now. But that little split-second clip where the guy said you could put your money into land or buy metals, 
That's the only thing that I had to work with. And I made an entire video based on that right there just because it was simply something to talk about. And at the time, you wouldn't even believe how many comments I got on that video from people saying, Oh my God! This was such a horrible video! All he said was the word metals. That doesn't mean he's stacking you, moron. He doesn't have any silver or gold. How dare you make this video? My name is Karen. I hate you. And now, here we are, two and a half years later, and I can say two things. Number one, well, well, well. And two, ha ha! The turns have tabled. Foot's on the other shoe now. It is now March of 2021. That same person just admit this week that he's been stacking silver and gold for years. And I took a big section of his video and I will be including part of it in this video. And to avoid copyright issues, I'm gonna be chopping it up and I'm also going to be interjecting with a little bit of commentary here he is at his local coin shop. Something that is all over the country, all over the world. Coin shops. This is a graded coin. There's that side of things, but what I really enjoy is just raw silver and gold. That 100 ounce or don't drop it through yeah. the glass. That's right. Never in a million years did I think this guy or any other famous YouTube person or singer, celebrity, actor, anything like that. Never in a million years would I have expected to see him, of all people, making a video inside of a coin shop. He then goes on to explain how he got into it, who introduced him to the silver and gold stacking concept, which was about six years ago. Keep in mind, this guy is rich. So God only knows how much silver and gold he actually has, especially if he has remained consistent over the course of the last six years. Somebody who's making millions and millions and millions of dollars consistently putting even a small sliver of that income into precious metals over the course of over half of a decade. Man, I can only imagine. Back to the clip. This is what got me into it. It was my beautiful mother back in 2015 maybe. She taught me to put some of your earnings into raw metal this is one ounce of silver american eagle very popular coin anything 1964 and prior so 63 62 61 90 percent silver how much is this quarter uh, about five dollars five bucks as he stated his mother got him into silver and gold rest in peace to his mother by the way but she's the one that introduced him to the silver and the gold and funny enough his parents have made guest appearances in his videos in the past. And what's funny about his parents is that they are into indoor gardening. They're into freeze drying food. They're into buying land. They're into self-sufficiency. And it all started to make sense. It started to click in my mind when I was putting two and two together. I was like, wow, it surprised me that he was involved in silver and gold at first. But now that I think about it, it's not all too shocking. Then he goes on to talk about diversification and the importance of not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's really good to diversify. Yeah, you don't want to keep everything. You don't want to keep all your eggs in one basket is what I'm trying to say. Honestly, it's pretty funny to hear him say these things because he's not a personal finance guy. It's not an investment channel. It's not a stock market, real estate, business, precious metal channel in any way, shape or form. He makes videos with his kids running around the backyard doing all types of crazy adventures and whatnot and by the way speaking of his kids the last section of the video that i want to show you is him introducing the silver and gold to three of his four kids the other one is uh, i believe a teenager and he just i guess wasn't in the video at the time but i'm sure he knows about the silver and the gold here we go is that beautiful do you know what that is no. that's an ounce of silver Okay, hold on to it. <laughs> hold on to it. He wants it. Oh. Oh. <gasps> there he goes. He's already trying to stash it. That's your allowance for the week. It's not his allowance because he didn't do his chores. Oh, give me that back then. <laughs> give me that back then. 
In my opinion, I personally find it to be incredible seeing him, or really anyone at all, but especially him, somebody that I've been familiar with for several years now, to be involved in Silver and Gold and to be introducing the Silver and Gold to his children. Because it could, after all, completely change their lives. Teaching your young kids, I mean, one of the kids was a baby. Young, young children growing up in a household where their parents are teaching them about real money. I'm not talking about currency. I'm not talking about fiat. I'm not talking about glorified IOU dollar bill debt notes. It's important to understand what currency is. You got to know where it came from. You got to know how it's valued. You got to understand why it depreciates in value. You got to understand how long it has been here for. And most importantly, you got to understand that it's a man-made invention at the end of the day. They're little pieces of paper printed out. And the only difference between a $1 bill and a $100 bill, of course, according to the pieces of paper, one is worth a hundred times more than the other, but there's absolutely no difference between the two. If you close your eyes and shuffle them up, they're identical. They're the same size. They're the same weight. They're the same everything. The only difference between the two is the number that they decided to put on it. We all come to a mutual agreement that one is worth a dollar while the other one is worth $100. When in all actuality, they are literally exactly the same. And the reason people don't teach their kids about this is because they don't know it themselves. Most people don't know the difference between money and currency. Most people don't understand that silver and gold are true, genuine money, real money, internationally recognized as money, constitutionally recognized as money, biblically recognized as money, historically recognized as money for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. The dollar bill is a man-made invention. The dollar bill was initially designed to be an IOU, an IOU silver, or an IOU gold. Something to temporarily hold you over until I get around to giving you the precious metals that I owe you. That's what the dollar bill was. And at the very least, for a short while, we were on the gold standard. Actually, we were on for a little more than a short while, but point being wasn't really all that long in the grand scheme of things. Once we got off the gold standard, which was only supposed to be temporary, by the way, we were supposed to be put back on, but that never occurred. And I'm willing to bet every ounce of silver that I own, we ain't going back to the gold standard. At this point, the dollar bills are backed by debt. It sounds like it contradicts itself. It sounds hypocritical in a way. But debt is actually a really profitable business model. Lenders make millions of dollars, billions of dollars, trillions of dollars off of debt. It goes from country to country. It goes from person to person. It goes from corporation to corporation. It goes from country to corporation. It goes from person to country. It goes from country to person. It goes from person to corporation. It's like this weird spider web that everyone's tangled in. No one seems to know how to get out of. And nothing makes me happier than finding out that there are parents out there. It doesn't matter if they're rich. It doesn't matter if they're average Joes. A parent is a parent. A young kid, I don't care if he's 17. I don't care if he's three. I don't care if she's seven. I don't care if she's four. When she or he looks at their parents, they see their parents. They don't see some rich, famous celebrity. They don't see a millionaire. They see mom. They see dad. So for their parents to be teaching them about real money, something to hold onto, something to save for the long term, for a variety of different reasons, it could be something as simple as potentially personal micro level financial hardships such as i don't know losing your job maybe the planet shuts down maybe the economy shuts down and you're forced to go on unemployment now you're getting 60 percent of the income that wasn't even enough to begin with and you should have 
somewhat of an emergency fund. You should have a little bit of a cash reserve because, of course, that's excellent for short-term situations. But the silver and the gold, in my opinion at least, not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to based on going on three and a half years of research on precious metals, the conclusion that I came to was that the silver and the gold could be excellent for the long term. Dollar bills, excellent for the short term. If you need something right here, right now, the dollar bills can buy it for you. The silver and the gold, that is something that I personally believe is something that could take care of us in the long term. Not from a micro level situation, although it could be used as a micro level situation, but I'm talking about macro. I'm talking about something that's going to affect more than just myself. I'm not talking about me getting laid off of work. I'm not talking about you getting laid off of work. I'm not talking about him or her breaking their leg and not being able to physically perform the tasks that their job requires. And maybe they're on disability or unemployment or whatever the case may be. That's all micro. Now I'm talking about the macro. I'm talking about inflation. I'm talking about years, decades, 5, 10, 15, 30, 50, 100, 200 years from now. What is the purchasing power of the dollar bill going to look like years, decades down the road, if it even lasts that long? Historically speaking, fiat currency is not here to stay. They all go to zero eventually. Will it go to zero during my lifetime or your lifetime? I have no idea. I'm not a psychic. I can't predict the future. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a wizard. I have no idea. I don't know if it's going to go to zero during my lifetime. I hope not. I can say this though, it's going to get closer to zero during my lifetime in comparison to where it's at right now. Because the dollar bill, unfortunately, don't mean to be a fear monger or anything like that. That is not what I like to do on this channel. And I try my best to stay as far away from that type of mentality as I can. But fact of the matter is, sad reality is, there's nothing we can do to reverse the damage that has been done to the dollar bill. Years and years and years and years and years of printing, 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 detrimental effects to currency. It happens to every single country's currency. Paper, fiat, glorified IOU, dollar bill, debt notes are not here to stay. If someone needs money, if someone needs to increase their financial IQ and you hand them a little bit of currency, Band-Aid on a broken arm. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. Back to the focal point of the video. I think it's excellent to see one parent out there teaching his kids about real, true, honest money and saving for the long term, the difference between money and currency, and the importance of precious metals. Because guess what? If one parent is out there doing it, that means there are plenty of other parents out there doing it. Maybe they're just not documenting it in videos and posting it on the internet for everybody to see. Maybe they're doing it in private. Maybe they're doing it discreetly. And at the end of the day, it comes around full circle to what this video is literally titled and about. Secretly stacking the silver and the gold. Being low-key about it. Being discreet about it. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And if you have kids, or if one day in the future you plan on having kids, do you plan on teaching them about precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I will be going live tonight around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on what time this video comes out. Come hang out. And of course, I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like a Karen hits another Karen. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel, for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. 
trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal-themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, everything that was shared in today's video, do you believe that there are plenty of rich and famous celebrities out there? I don't care if they are one of the top dog YouTube channels that have nothing to do with precious metals. I don't care if they are A-list celebrities like actors and singers and entertainers and dancers and entrepreneurs out there. Do you think the rich and famous, potentially powerful, are discreetly or secretly stacking silver? Maybe they're not keeping it a secret simply to keep it a secret. Maybe they just don't get around to talking about it. Maybe in their eyes, it's just something that they should be doing. Why talk about something that you consider to be common sense? Everybody's doing it, maybe in their eyes. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.